guys! So as you can probably tell by the title, this is a bit of a different video to what I normally do on my channel. This is a breast augmentation video, uh, aka a boob job. Um, so I really want to do this video because I want to give people who are thinking about getting one done, are getting one done, want a bit more advice, a bit more different kind of things. I want them to know what I know going through the procedure. So I haven't yet had them done. I'm getting them done on the 26th of January. However, this video will be up after I've had them done because I want to give a day by day ones, but I want them all to be like continuously uploaded. Um, and then we'll be uploading these while I recover so I can have a lot more, oh no, actually this part, they have forgot this or I wanted to add this or any kinds of things like that. So I am going to get a boob job because I lost a hell of a lot of weight. I lost, I think the doctor said it was like six stone in like, how long was it? I think it's about six to eight weeks and people are going to be like, what? No, you did. I did. I did. I um, got a job in a hotel and it required me being on my feet all day. Literally, I would leave my, I'd wake up about 5am, I'd leave my house about half six and there'd be about a half an hour walk to the bus stop because the bus stop closest to me um, didn't run at that time because it's just awful. But that's a different story, this is a, a different video. Um, so I'd be doing that walk and then I'd be on the bus, then I would get on the train and then from the train stop to where I worked was about a 45 to 50 minute walk in itself and then you were on your feet all day. Um, and because of the hours I was working, I didn't get a chance to get a break, I didn't get a chance to eat. So when I finished, all I wanted to do was just get home and go back to bed because I was shattered. I literally had, like, I didn't have one day off. Like, I was at college for four days and I worked for four days. I know that's eight days, but I went to work after one of the days at college or before. I don't remember. I think it was before college, actually, because I think I started quite late on one of the days. I don't really remember. But anyway, um, so I didn't have a day off. I didn't have a day to myself. I didn't have just downtime where I could just be like, today I'm going to eat. I, it, was, it was not like that. So the first place to get affected was my boobs. It was very emotional. <laughs> um, but I've always had it in my head that I've wanted one. I think I was about like 11. It was just when I was getting into like secondary school. So it probably was around 11. And I was like, I want a boob job when I'm older. And... This was before I lost any weight, um, I was still quite big and um, I just always had it in my head that I wanted big fake, like Katie Price kind of boobs. I've always like, that's what I've been like, to me, I just love the look of fake boobs. So like, that's what I originally wanted and then like, obviously you get older, things happen and like you realise things and you're like, okay, no, I don't want that. I just, I just want them nice and yeah. So, I was like, I'm not going to do anything until I turn 21, because even though you can, I'm sure you can get them done at 16, or it might be 18, but either way, I know you can get them done younger than 21, but I was like, if I still want them done at 21, and I've saved enough money for it, I will do it, because I didn't want to do it, um, I didn't want to do it on finance, because I, I'm just, I'm not about that life, like, if I, if I don't have the money, I'm not going to do something, do you know what I mean? I don't live beyond my means, and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, if I have say for it, it means I've wanted it. It means I've wanted to get it done. So um, it was coming up to my 21st birthday. And in the summer, I got a job. And I was working cray, cray, cray hours. Like, literally, I was working basically every single day. I think I probably had like one or one day off a, day, a week. But I loved it. I love it. I'm trying to go back there because I, I love it. I'm just trying to take like a month off just to get these done, recover and everything. But anyway, that's again another story. I really, I, I move along very, very quickly. I, I don't have much conversation. Conversation? I don't have much concentration. That's the one. Uh, but anyway, so I saved up money from my job that I got in the summer because I was like, I'm turning 21 and it's like about time. I really, really want them done. Um, I need them done for myself. Like I, I, I can't, 
it's hard to explain because if like you're going from being like flat chested to getting a boob job it's a lot different from when you've lost weight because your boob skin like the skin has like been damaged from you losing weight um like in the stretch mark ways so i couldn't just go and get one i had to get like an uplift as well so that is what i'm getting done i just so that's them um this is not a push-up bra by the way um i don't wear push-up bras because i don't have the boobs for it um i did actually want to mention like stuff about bras because i have worked in a bra shop before and i've got quite a lot of knowledge about it and i feel like a lot of girls are just not wearing the right sort of bras so i think i might i might actually just speak about this now and just do this as like a whole boob video so basically there are two types of boobs and two types of bras normally. So you have a plunge bra and you have a balconette bra. Now, two different types of boobs are where you've got like your muscle, right? Like the, it feels like a chicken filling. <laughs> People are gonna be like, what? People are gonna be like, um, I don't know where mine is. No, no. Um, so it feels like a chicken fillet kind of thing and you will either have it in a high bit or the low bit and I have mine in the low bit which means that my boobs just look like a teardrop if you have them in the high bit they're normally just quite round um, so you're able to wear plunge bras because if you know with plunge bras they're the ones that go like that and they've got a lot of padding here now you're able to wear this because you don't have the bottom muscle so your, your boobs can get pushed like that and they're fine I envy you a hell of a lot because plunge bras are always the prettiest, nicest and best bras. But no, I have to have a balcony bra. Balcony bras are the ones that normally just go like that. So for example, this one just goes like this and it's got your straps, blah, blah, as a normal bra does. The reason why people who have the muscle bigger at the bottom wear balconets is because the boob will sit nicely in it and I can't, I can't explain it without getting my boobs out. <laughs> Um, it will sit nicely in it, and then the skin, not the skin, well, yeah, the skin and everything could just sit nicely over. I'm just like touching myself on YouTube. Um, the skin will sit nicely over it, so your boobs will still look perky and still look fine. More than likely, they are perky and fine. Again, I envy you. Uh, I don't have that luxury <laughs> yet. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about boobs uh, and your bras that you should be wearing. Um, but I don't even know what I was saying before this. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, so that's a little bit of a brief background as to why I'm getting them done. Um, just to talk a bit about now, I am currently a 36 double D. Uh, people are like, whoa, why are you getting a boob job? Everyone that meets me or like knows me or are friends with me and like I tell them oh, I'm getting a boob job, they're like, what? why and it's a lot of personal reasons but as it's also the reasons why I've said before like when I went to my surgeon he was like you have the boobs of someone who's had three kids and is about 40 I'm 21 without a child and it's kind of just like well I lost all this weight and what has it done for me it's just made me like fork out money to get a boob job so that my boobs can look at least a little bit like a 21 year old is probably going to look like about a 25 year old but still and it kind of just makes you feel like well I shouldn't have bothered I shouldn't have tried what's the point and like all this so yeah I will be getting 350cc high profile now because I'm getting an uplift as well it's not going to be the straightforward muscle nipple or under the um, fold incision because you're getting an uplift, what the doctor is going to do is like slice out a bit of your skin on your boob and reattach two closer bits. So, if, like, if I was to like cut out this bit here on my hand, I would then have to sew those bits on so it tightens. So that's what he's going to do to uplift it. To, then that that can get the perkiness and like the normality of them. Um, I'm not going to get 350 cc which is the size of my implants, which I have been told will take me up two cup sizes. So I'm looking to be around 36F, which is so overwhelming 
so shocking, so scary, I don't know how to act, I don't know what bras to buy, <laughs> I don't know where to buy them from, uh, so yeah. But I'm not sure I will be going to that size because I, I personally don't think they're that big. Um, so I will keep you updated to what size I go and everything. Um, I don't really want to talk about the cost because I feel that's a private matter and because I am getting two different surgeries done. Because what you've got to think about is it is an uplift and it is a um, breast augmentation. So they're two different things. And I'm I'm getting two done. So people will be like, that's a lot. But I'm getting two different sur surgeries. But I don't want to talk about the price and I don't really want to talk about the um, hospital or the surgeon or anything that I'm going with just yet because I haven't had them done I don't want to give you guys oh they're amazing they're this they're this and then in a week after they've had them done I'm like no they're awful like it's not gonna make sense so I'll be saving that for a later video so that is just a little quick thing <laughs> I suppose about what I'm doing um this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to start YouTube. This is one of the main reasons why um, I got a camera, even though my boyfriend bought it for me, but he knew that I wanted to do this. Um, this is just something that I've need I've need to do for myself. And a lot of people were like, need, no, you want to. No, if you understood what it did to people and how it made people feel, then it would be a need. Like a lot of people are just so like critical and horrible. They're like, why would you ever get a boob job? And it's like, well, why wouldn't you? Like if it's in someone's mind that they need to have it done and if they've got the money, then like, why are you, why are you getting involved for, man? Just ch chill. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be all I'm going to say. Because I don't really know what else to say. Hmm. I think I've covered all the basics. Like, I can't really give you much information just yet until, like, I've had them done. I've been to, like, all my consultations. I've been to all my appointments. Um, I've met my surgeon. Uh, actually, this is a funny story, you see. I met two different surgeons from the same um, clinic. The first surgeon I met was so weird. Like, I went with my friend um, for, like, moral support. And I was, like, literally, like, crapping myself. And he, like, we went in and I was, like, she was stood next to me and I was here and he was, like, there. And he was just staring at her. And, like, not in, like, a... But in a... Kind of way. And I was just, like, I'm the patient. Um... I'm going to be spending money, I'm going to be like getting the surgery done, like what the hell. Um, so I felt really uncomfortable with him and then like he was saying all this stuff to me like I don't feel comfortable to do it and all this shiznay and I was like well I'm fine, cool, bye. And then the clinic were like we're really really sorry about that. He um, He's very abrupt when he speaks to people and all this and I was like okay and they sent me up with another surgeon and he's lovely oh he honestly is when i do a little like overview about the hospital and the surgeon um i'll give you more information um and then what else do i want to speak about right so my scarring and like the incisions so as i said it's not the normal side under or nipple it is going to be under so it's going to be under the fold so i'm going to have a scar there and a scar there so I, the reason I have two again is because I explained she's going to get a rid of that skin and just tighten it. The implant will be going under the fold which is what I want because I just feel like it's so much more easier to hide. I feel much more safer and everything. Um, I'm getting silicone because I don't want saline. I've never wanted saline. I don't see the fascination with saline. As always to every other um, boob job they are hopefully going to stay in for at least 10 years unless I have kids which I'm hopefully planning not to have kids in the next 10 years. Probably about seven years, actually. I just calculated how old I'd be in 10 years and I was like, no, 31, I'll have a kid by then, hopefully. Um, he was like, it will change whether I lose weight or gain weight. Um, but I'm hopeful, I'm not looking to gain weight. Like, I've worked too hard <laughs> to gain any weight. Um, but he said if I lose it, there wouldn't be such a drastic difference because I have had the uplift. Um, when I get them redone, I don't get a uplift redone. I just get the implants redone, which is great because then I'm not going to be forking out the same amount that I'm paying already. Um, and what else? I 
think that's it. Yeah. So I will be keeping you updated with what happens. Like I said, my surgery is on the 26th. It's the 17th now, so it's nine days. <gasps> Very excited. I'm gonna go shopping today for some sports bras to wear. Ooh, I can't believe how close it's coming. Um, so yeah, I really don't think there's much else to say. No, okay. <laughs> so until next time guys, I will speak to you soon. And if you do have any questions that you want me to answer about my boobs or boob jobs in general, or boobs in general, then please just leave them in the comments because I want to help you guys because I see a lot of girls that are just like walking around in like the wrong bras and like the wrong sizes and I just want to help them. I just want to go up to them and be like, no! But if someone did that to me, I'd probably cry and run away. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh, this is actually goodbye now. I'll see you soon.